So today we're at KG Barbecue here in Austin, Texas. And apparently it's an Egyptian flavored Texas style barbecue. I got a whole bunch of different items for a total price of $76.40. So let's see how it tastes. But first up, we got the brisket. As you can see, this one looks like super thick pieces of brisket. As you can see, this one looks like, oh man, this is a thick piece. Super meaty, some good bits of fat at the end. Cheers, guys. Brisket itself is not really super tender, but it has a good bite. It's meaty, it's thick, it's juicy, and has a good flavor. And they kept the brisket very classic, you know, salt and pepper, you can taste the seasoning. However, not much of a smoky feel. Well, it's not bad. Next though, we got the pomegranate and the tar seasoning rib. As you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. A nice little smoke ring, good amount of meat. Ooh, cheers, guys. Like the rib itself will not really fall off the bone, but have a good bite. It's meaty, it's succulent, and very flavorful. Like for eating, you can definitely feel the Egyptian spice a little bit nutty, a little bit savory, a little bit tangy too. And the pomegranate gives it a nice little sweetness. Although some areas are a little bit tough, but flavor is good. Next though, we got the smoked lamb chops. Ooh, that looks good. Nice little crust, good coloring. Cheers, guys. Oh, this is flavorful. It's not too gamey, has a nice clean bite, it's tender, it's juicy, has a good smoky feel. It is a little bit too salty for me, but flavor is good. This will give you some chimichurri to pair it up with too. Nice little chimichurri. Cheers. Mmm, very herbaceous, nice little spicy kick. This is good. I just wish the lamb was a little bit less saltier, then it would be amazing. Next though, we got the brisket rice bowl. Let me take a look at this. Look at how colorful this looks. Oh man, this looks good. Let's get a little bit of everything. Get some rice, get some meat, some pomegranates, and more. Got a nice little bite. Cheers, guys. This is very unique and interesting. It's very festive, very refreshing. It has a lot of flavors and textures going on. You can tell they use good ingredients like the rice itself is soft and fluffy, vegetables nice and crisp, a little bit juicy from tomatoes, candy nuts for that sweetness of the pomegranate seeds, a little bit tart. Plus the tahini itself gives a nice little nutty sensation. Mixed all together, this is pretty good. I just wish they gave more pomegranate seeds because I love these seeds. Mmm. Next though, we got the Egyptian mac and cheese. Ooh, this looks good. There's a lot of seasoning going on too. Nice little bite. Cheers, guys. You know, flavor's okay, but I feel like the noodles themselves have been cooked a little bit too long, it's too soft, too mushy, a little bit too salty. Other than that, it's creamy, it's cheesy, and you get a nice little tomato feel from the base, which is not bad. It's just okay. You know, after trying the food, I have to say KG Barbecue is very unique, very interesting, you know, but I don't get the hype around it like a lot of y'all recommended to me. And food is just okay. Like, overall rate, I'll give this all an 8.0. If you're looking for something unique and interesting, definitely check this place out.